Alright, so as we saw by the video, Vincent van Gogh is a famous painter. And of course, his most famous painting was Starry Night. You can see the movement that goes on throughout all of his paintings because he left a bunch of brush strokes that work in rhythm to create movement. Movement and rhythm are two of our principles of design. So today we are going to be doing a more fallish uh, drawing using the same principle of rhythm and movement. The first thing we need to do is we need to start with a circle. It does not need to be a perfect circle. In fact, if it's kind of weird, that's fine because what we're going to turn this pump, uh, circle into is a pumpkin. Now, it's just a circle at this point, but you know that a pumpkin is round. So, what we're going to do is make contour lines. So, start with a slightly curved one in the middle, and the closer you get to the sides, the more curved the lines are going to get. I'm using a marker just so it's easy for y'all to see. But see how my uh, lines curve away from the middle now? and start matching the curve of the sides. Go on camera. There you go. All right, I've got a pumpkin that has contour lines that show the form. Contour lines show curves and other forms of the surface of a drawn object. Next, we need a stem. Your stem can be big, your stem can be curly, it can be straight. But we do need a stem that shows the top of the pumpkin. Let's add some contour like to this too. All right, so now we have lines that show if you felt along this pumpkin the movement of how it would feel. We need some grass, more movement. The zigzaggy, zaggy, zigzaggy, zaggy. and also the pattern of zigzag, zigzag, that rhythm, zigzag, zigzag. Maybe some leaves because we're in a pumpkin patch. If I'm ever going too fast in my videos, you can always pause. some leaves of her pumpkin patch or fall leaves that have fallen on the ground your choice but it is nighttime so we are going to be doing starry night behind this pumpkin let's start with a moon do the letter C and go back on itself to make a moon and then add some dots, big ones, little ones, or stars. Vincent did not make his stars look like the typical five point stars that we see. He made his round. All right, I'm going to add just that many. Not too many. There are not too many in Starry Night. But how he made it important right is how we're going to color it so catch me in the next video for how to color this